Hey guys, got a new video series for you today. We're gonna to be doing something a little bit different rather than teaching how to use a unit. We're gonna show you what's inside a unit. Now I got this idea from this structure scan module, you know. So many of you guys probably have this in your boat and you know, really today it's useless in, in when you upgrade your electronics anyway. You know, if you put in a Gen 2, a Gen 3, a Carbon, any of the new touch units, this module is built right into those units and it's pretty much redundant. You can just unplug the transducer from this and go right into your unit so what do you do with one of these man there's there's really no used market for it you might get a hundred bucks for it if you're lucky but um, what I'm gonna do is just tear this thing apart and show you what's inside so uh, that's gonna be what this new series is about we're gonna open stuff up show you what's inside of them might show you how to fix a few things along the way if you run into issues and I'm also gonna do some durability testing on units so right now let's go downstairs to the workshop take a look and see what's inside this structure scan module Okay, so this is gonna be as new to me as it is to you because I've never taken one of these apart before. I think I can do it with a heat gun, a screwdriver, and some pliers. If you look on these things, there is no screws holding it together. But if you look in there close, you can kind of see a gasket uh, right in there. It looks like some 3M style adhesive that is securing this. And then probably we're just gonna have to undo these things, which you can usually do by hand. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna unscrew these and then I'll put some heat to it and see what happens. We got three more on this side because this port does actually act as an ethernet hub and um, you can connect multiple units if you need this as a hub. And that's really the only reason you'd probably want to leave this on your boat is if you have more than two units or uh, I guess more than two ethernet ports because the nine and 12 inch units, they have two ethernet ports on them anyway. Okay, so we got those all put are all taken off, put them aside. Now I'll just heat this thing up and see if we can pull this back. Okay, so that's getting pretty hot to the touch. And it looks like we got a couple tabs in here too that we might be able to pry this out with. And there we go. Now this is metal, so it's probably gonna bend up on you if you do choose to do this. And it's probably gonna misshape as well, so. If you're doing this, you're gonna have to be extremely careful if you wanna reuse this. In my case, I don't, so. Probably should clamp it in here. It might make this thing a little easier. There's some nice separation. Okay, I think we got her. There we go. There you are, so that's what's inside. Wow, this one's corroded quite a bit. You can see here, a bunch of corrosion on this thing. So water definitely got into that. That's probably the reason why that uh, it was not working. And uh, looks like I got a couple Phillips screws. So I'll grab a screwdriver, each four corner here, and uh, take a look to pop that out. Those were a lot longer than I thought. Okay, so looks like the ethernet side of it, the connections were on a tab here. I'll probably try and pop this out so you can see that a little bit better. Oh, it looks like we might have the same on the sonar side. Yeah, the sonar side and ethernet side are both on a board that plug into these two connections here. So we have our ethernet connection here. So you can pretty much pop this board right on out and then this is our sonar board connection. This is what holds everything together. And we have our connectors over here. So we've got our power connector here, which was going in right here. And again, you can see all the corrosion on this. That's why this guy wasn't working. We've got our nine pin transducer connector there. So I think we found our issue. Water got in this and uh, did her in. Now I'll pull this one out. There goes the screwdriver. So we got our three ethernet connections here. This little uh, co uh, connector here went to the uh, main board. 
and that's what we got on the back side. So next to these ethernet ports, we've got these little transformers. Each ethernet port has a transformer. Not really sure exactly uh, what they do, but that's what these little black guys are. Another thing to note is all the connections on both boards do have a rubber gasket. And uh, with the exception of this one on the left here, but it's in the case, it's stuck behind. So I don't think water got in through there. Okay, and back to our power board here. This little guy here is a filter or choke, so it's hopefully to reduce uh, noise. Uh, I guess that's what they put that in there for. So on our main board, we have our connector, like we've talked about here, going to each of those subboards, And then we have three um, little modules here. And if you notice, we have port, down, and starboard. So this is not just like a hub that returns the sonar signal. This is actually the brains that processes the signal. So we have a port for our left side imaging beam, a starboard for our right side imaging beam, and then our down scan beam. So this is all processed right here, which is then fed to the computer which is probably one of these guys on the back that then outputs that through the ethernet to your unit. So all the information is processed here um, from the transducer rather than in the unit. So this is now built right into the unit. So you no longer have to do that. And eventually in this series, I will take apart uh, HDS Gen 3 unit or a carbon unit, and you'll see exactly what all that stuff is there. One of the most annoying parts about these structure scan boxes is the LED lights, which you cannot see in most conditions. They're very, very faint. Uh, there's three for the, the um, uh, ethernet ports, one for power, one for sonar. Now, if you look on the board, right above my thumb here, we've got the three ethernet ports. Right here, we have the sonar, and then right here, we have the um, power port. If we take, our box it's basically shooting them up through these little tubes and uh, that's why they are so dim so i'm going to take this off now and see what's underneath there just to see if there's anything at all to allow that to transmit through okay let's grab that screwdriver off the floor that we dropped earlier see if i can pry that up There we go. Wow, there is, look at that. I'm actually kind of glad to see that there is something that would allow that light to pass. I sure was not expecting that. So anyway, that's why your lights are so hard to see. Okay, now just for fun, we'll take this one off here. Well, look at that, there's a hole there. Wonder what that did. Well, there you have it. That's what's inside a structure scan module. I hope you enjoyed this teardown video. Keep a uh, tune to this channel. We are gonna do a bunch more like this. And that is what you have inside a structure scan HD module from Lawrence.